Hello everyone. Today we're visiting the fountain paint pot area at Yellowstone. So far, this trip has been amazing. So if you're thinking about it, stop thinking about it and book it. There are actually two locations at Yellowstone that contain mud pots. The Artist Paint Pots, which are three miles south of Noor's Geyser Basin, and the ones we are visiting today. The Fountain Paint Pots that are in the Lower Geyser Basin, just a bit north of Old Faithful. Remember her from day one? Today is day four of our trip to Yellowstone. In the morning, we visited the Grand Prismatic and then hiked the Fairy Falls Trail to the Overlook. What an incredible view. And now we are at the Fountain Paint Pot parking lot and there are some very rustic bathroom facilities here. Use with caution. The trail is easy on the feet. It's a boardwalk and only a half mile loop around four different types of hydrothermal features. As we begin walking, you'll notice some of the trees look like they're wearing white bobby socks at the base, which is why they are nicknamed bobby sock trees. These are dead pine trees that have soaked up the mineral laden water and when the water evaporates, the minerals that are left behind turn the base of the trees white. Here we come to the first of many sites to see. This is a hot spring, the Celestine Spring. What a beautiful blue. On the sides of the boardwalk are thermophiles in what are labeled bacterial mats. These are heat loving bacteria and other microorganisms of various colors, mostly green, orange, and brown. Next, we came to a pool of very blue water and then the famous fountain paint pots. These are really mud pots with different colors that are derived from various oxidation states of the iron in the mud. If you look closely, you can see the mud pots bubbling and of course a sign to explain what we're looking at. We continued walking the boardwalk and taking in the various hydrothermal features. Here we came across something named Red Sprouter. This changes by the season, so depending on when you're visiting, you may see it sprouting reddish water, hence the name Red Sprouter. When we were here, it was just hissing a bit of steam. No red water for us, just an eerie hissing sound. This is called the leather pool. It was a warm 139 degree pool with leather-like bacteria. In 1959, an earthquake caused the temperature to rise and killed the bacteria in the pool. Now the water has cooled down enough to support the brown bacteria once again. A bit more walking and we came across an area with a whole bunch of geysers. The Fountain Geyser. The Jet Geyser. The Spasm Geyser. and the Clepsidra geyser. It really feels a bit like an alien planet, not the Mother Earth I'm familiar with. I'm thinking that Old Faithful might be more famous, but here in the lower geyser basin, there is so much more to look at. You have to come here and see for yourselves. 
That's it for us for today. It was an exhausting but exhilarating day four of our trip. It's also our last day at Yellowstone. Tomorrow, we will be driving to Jackson Hole, Wyoming to see the Grand Tetons. Please stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. Bye.